it is a small sample size, it's five games, but not too many people have had a run like he's had in five games. I, I don't know that I've ever coached him, but he's had a better run in five games offensively. So it, 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 it is pretty remarkable. And, and he's actually done it in, in games that, you know, we've been behind all five of those games by at least eight points, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yeah, we, we needed him to play his, play his best and to some other guys and kind of catch up a little bit. But uh, I'm really happy for him. Proud of him. He's seen a very big basket right now. Is he the stabilizing factor that, you know, when you guys get down eight points, that it just it doesn't snowball in the wrong direction? Yeah, I don't know. That, yeah, I, I think that he is, and, and I would say Dietrich as much as anybody. I, I think that we still want to throw the ball to Dietrich and have to be a basket. You know, Doe could be. Uh, uh, he's had been in the, in the game enough uh, uh, here of late to play him for minutes. But, but I, I would say Dietrich and Legere both have been pretty equal in that way. Is, is there any worry that other guys will sit around and go, ah, no. Legere will get hot? No, I don't think so. You, you know, this is an unbelievable set. I think since the first game, we've made seven threes as a team. And Legere has made 12 eight. So, so I, I could be off. Maybe it's eight. <laughs> but it's still a pretty pretty big size differential. So I know DeBond's made two. Quinn's made three. Uh, uh, Marcus has made one. And uh, he's made one. So, so yeah, we got to, you know, and that, that shows you a lot that we're fortunate that we have the record we have, but also I think when other guys start uh, seeing the ball going the hole, I think it will definitely change our team. More concerned about three point defense than as far as your team? Yeah, well, I, I'd say the three point line is a concern both ways. You know, we're, 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 it's so misleading. We're shooting like 44% of the three for the year. So misleading because the drill shooting 60 something. So, so, so misleading. Uh, uh, but, but, uh, you know, we haven't defended the arc very well. You know, Stanford came in here in uh, probably the worst three point shooting team that we had faced this year, statistically. That mean they are, but statistically, they played a guy that hadn't played all year long. He was five on us. So, so, uh, uh, not defending at the arc is, is probably not a, a, a remedy for success playing Wofford uh, because we, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be probably the best three game team to play all year. Is there a simple fix? I mean, I know if there was, I don't know. do it, but uh, I don't know, simple, you know, I don't know that is simple. I, I think a lot of it is, you know, we don't play our man before he catches it, so he catches it in the scoring area, and then you're at his mercy to shot for the shot fake or whatever. We have, we've done a terrible job of of pressure now, making his catch a step further out. You know, it's it's you know not necessarily Wofford. They'll shoot it from five feet beyond the yard, and that's a good shot. But for most teams, you catch it five feet beyond the yard, you you eliminate them to not be triple threat. They can just be a pass or a drop. So the shot fake is eliminated, and, and we haven't done a good job of that at all. I mean, we we showed a tape on that, and hopefully that'll be something that we get better at. <laughs> Well, you know, Charlie's made two this year. Uh, uh, maybe I didn't include Charlie's. It may be up to eight or nine. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so. Uh, uh, but I know it's single figures. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but Charlie and Q, you would think would be the ones. And then, and then Dietrich needs to be a kind of stretch. And he's only made, I think, one this year. If I'm not mistaken, one or two. And, and you know, in the exhibition game, what was it, three for three, one game? And, and, and uh, so, so, so we, we've got to. We, we know we have capable guys. But they just haven't had they just haven't had uh, success knocking them down yet. What can do to play better on the year? What can Dieter do to play better than Doak? Uh, no, I I think Doak does play better than Dieter. Uh, without question. If you ask Doak who he enjoys playing the most with, he'd probably say Dieter or, or Devon, I would think, uh, just because uh, you know, they, uh, you know, forcing help or trying to get him the ball. Uh, uh, but 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 I don't think I don't think that you know the, the good thing is I don't think Doak's played very consistent yet uh, uh, with with uh, what his skill set is. I mean he's a monster in the low, but sometimes he doesn't play to that. Uh, he needs to be a better rim protector and a better rebounder, obviously. But but uh, I, I think those two guys can play well together. The problem is our ball screen defense is so poor. That neither one of them have done a good job, but our guards have been really soft and they, they, they've been doing a good job too. So that's those are areas we've got to pick up for everybody. But 
if, if, if the, the thing they could probably do better to play together is probably defend the ball screen better so they can't play together and not have to go four guards and switch. So I hope that's not the case. Marcus and Devon have great ability to force turnovers on the teams. How good are they at that? Is there anyone else? Yeah, Legerald should be a better uh, creator of having. I think Q can be, definitely be a lot better. You know, uh, those guys that kind of just play between your man and the basket and uh, not really do much of that, that having type stuff. But uh, I think Charlie can do a better job. Those are things, those are areas we can certainly improve in. Uh, but, you know, it blows my mind how, how, how Dope can deny a 20 feet run through a pass. Five minutes left in the game, in the first 35 minutes, let's catch up whenever he wants to. So, so there's no reason why that has to be the case. And I'm talking about with everybody, but that was just a dope example that we can certainly do a better job of, of putting pressure on people, making them feel this. You know, I told our guys it used to be an out the field house that the first five minutes were always the key for the opponents because uh, we could put enough heat on people that, that you know, if we could kind of get away from teams in the first five minutes. Start the game during the day. First five minutes, they're just coming close to beat. So that, you know, that that's stuff that we have to we have to get better at. And I certainly got to do a better job of, of getting the guys uh, playing in the right spots, so that way they can get out and create more havoc. Because it's not from lack of effort, it's just from lack of not being in the right spots.